Today we're going to take a look at Lightburn layers, what they are, and how to utilize them. When you first open Lightburn, you'll notice a colorful bar at the bottom of the window with numbered colored squares from 00 through 29 plus T1 and T2. That's Lightburn's layer system, and those colors control how your laser processes your design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what layers are, how to use them, and how they give you control over your laser workflow. Let's start with the basics. What is a layer in Lightburn? Well, a layer is a group of settings that tells your laser how to process your design. Each layer has its own color that corresponds to different parameters like speed, power, or number of passes. And when you create artwork in Lightburn, every shape gets assigned to a layer based on its color. Let me show you the layers panel. You'll find it on the right side of your screen by default. If you don't see it, go to Window, make sure that Cuts and Layers is checked, and each row then represents one layer showing the color, mode, and various settings. Now, let's look at how to assign a layer to a shape. And that's simple. Click the shape you want to assign, and then click one of the colored squares in the color bar at the bottom of the window. The shape will change to that color, and will now use that layer's settings. This is how you organize different parts of your design to use different cutting or engraving settings. Now double click on any layer in the layers panel to open the cut settings editor. This is where you configure how the layer will process. You can name your layer, which I do recommend, instead of just C00 or C01, give them descriptive names like engrave detail or cut outline, and this makes your workflow much clearer, especially when you're working on complex projects. Next, you'll set your mode. There are four modes. Line mode traces along the outlines of your design for cutting or scoring. Fill mode scans back and forth with parallel lines to remove material from inside of a shape. Offset fill fills the design with lines that follow the original shape in a spiraling pattern. And image mode for processing photos or raster graphics. Then you have your speed and power settings. Speed is how fast your laser head moves. Power is the strength of your laser shown as a percentage of its total power. You can also control the number of passes for multiple lighter passes or to get through thicker materials. There are additional settings like kerf and tabs that will be covered in a later video or you can read the documentation for more information. Let's look at the toggles next to each layer in the layers panel. The output toggle controls whether the layer gets sent to the laser or not. The show toggle controls whether the layer is visible in the workspace and the air toggle turns on or off air assist for supported lasers. And you can quickly enable or disable these settings for each layer as needed. Now let's talk about the tool layers. Those are the T1 and T2 at the end of the color bar. Tool layers are special non-output layers. These layers have no cut parameters and will never be sent to the laser. They're used for creating reference shapes in your design, like guides for aligning shapes, indicating material size and position on your machine, or other construction geometry that helps you design but should not be cut or engraved. Now let's talk about layer order and how it affects your projects. Lightburn uses layers to determine the order of operations. By default, Lightburn processes layers from top to bottom in the layers panel. This can be adjusted in the cut planner if needed, but most users stick with the default and whatever layer is at the top will be processed first and then the next one down and so on. You typically want engraving to happen before cutting. If you cut first, the parts may shift or even fall through your bed and engraving won't be aligned properly. So put your engraving layers on top. To reorder the layers, simply click and drag them up or down in the layers panel, or you can select a layer and use the up and down arrows on the right side of the layers panel to move a selected layer up or down. Move your cutting layers to the bottom and your engraving layers above it. So that's the basics of layers in Lightburn. Lightburn layers are even more powerful than what we've covered here, and we've only touched on the fundamentals in this video. Watch for future deep dives into some of the more advanced layer capabilities. And if you found this helpful, make sure and subscribe for more Lightburn tutorials, and drop a comment with questions or topics you'd like me to cover. And we'll see you in the next video.